Hi, my name is Emelina Rodriguez. We're at Salem State University and I'm graduating with my bachelor's degree of social work. When I think of foster care, I think of protective custody. So if there's a situation that a kid really should be removed from a family or from guardians, then the state will come in and help those kids. Um, so you will have a social worker who will be the person to take care of your needs and whatnot and put you in a safer environment until the bio parents are ready, like or suited parents to take their kids back or indefinitely and they can be up for adoption. So I guess that's kind of what foster care is, is it's a home away from home and should be a safer environment and a place to really be nurtured and cared for. I went into foster care when I was in fourth grade. I had two older sisters. Um, we were all separated, unfortunately. I'm Kendra, and I'm a foster mom. And Emelina came to me, and she was going into ninth grade. I knew she was special because she had attitude, but I could see that it could be worked, and it wasn't like it could be worked into something good if we could just kind of turn it around a little bit, kind of get to know each other, and try to develop, like, find out what her passions were, things that she liked because she wasn't really interested in school all that much. The longer she was there, the more we got to know that there, she had something and she had a lot of spirit and she was resilient. And we always said that the resilient ones are the ones that can just do anything because if you're resilient, then you still have something left that you can, you, you have something to go for. I feel awesome about Gotcha because the day is finally here and it was a long, hard road. You are educated. Your certification is your degree. And you may think of it as a ticket to a good life. Let me ask you to think of an alternative. Think of it as your ticket to change the world. The answer to most of the world's major problems, from environmental concerns to communicable disease, lies squarely in the hands of an educated citizenry. With your graduation today, you have become part of the citizenry. It is now up to you to go forward and to make a difference. And I have every confidence that you will. You are a fabulous group and you make us tremendously proud. I wish you continued success in achieving your goals. Enjoy this commencement. This is indeed your moment. Congratulations. She struggled a lot, and um, even though she was in foster care, she, you know, we always told her, my wife kept on telling her, um, you know, be the girl you are, and pursue your dreams, and don't let nothing stop you. She did it, you know. She always came back home once in a while, you know, and for dinner and things like that, and gatherings, but we always told her, keep your dream, you can do it. I want you to be the first one out of the Rodriguez family to do it. And she did it. My dream was for my daughter to be what she wants to be. I mean, I came from, from Michigan, Detroit, and a big family. My parents couldn't afford us to go to college. I had seven brothers and three sisters. And I said, if I can't do it, someday my kids will do it. And having three daughters, Sally Christian Malina, she's the youngest one, and a son Josiah, six years old, She's, um, she's, um, she's the one that made it to, um, to college in, in bachelor. This is big for us, and especially our family, Rodriguez. I'm proud of her, and I am blessed having a daughter that, you know, that she's went for her dreams. Help those who need help, especially for kids out there who's lost and hurt. 
but I am proud of her and, and I, as I would say, thank you God. Thank you. I wasn't able to see like how much the government, like DCF, was able to give back to me. Once I was able to realize that I took everything, um, I took advantage of everything, and when I realized there is such thing as a degree in social work, I was like, that. that's for me. To me, social work means um, advocating for people and really speaking up for those who maybe don't feel like they have a voice and taking a stand and just really being able to help people. Um, the qualities are to be empathetic and to just keep on moving forward and know that everyone has their chance and sometimes they just need a little push or just speaking for them and they feel all the more difference in the world and in their situation. So I think family, it's different for each person, for each situation. Um, I luckily have two families. Uh, one who was with me a majority of like fourth grade and under and I had a steady family from when I was 14 and over. Um, both families, I learned different things and I try and mesh them both and I don't feel like I'm any one, like one part of my biological family or any one part of my foster family. I was able to just mix it all and be me, which is totally different than anyone within my family. Um, but the word itself, I feel like I'm still trying to figure it out. I know I've had a great support system and I have the people who really care about me and even though I may not see them often, I know that if I needed someone to talk to, they will be there. I can just have like a simple dinner or just Facebook chat and stuff like that. And it's, it means the world to me. I don't need a big to-do about anything. It's just, I know they're there, a simple hello, and that means the world.